So OpenAI is reportedly one step closer to achieving artificial general intelligence, AGI, with its leaked project called QSTAR. Last week, we specified that we would bring further news both on the alleged achievement of AGI by OpenAI and new details about QSTAR. But, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, a quick heads up. We are producing this video with the latest updates as of today, December 15th. Considering AGI and QSTAR are sizzling topics right now, they've attracted a lot of speculative theories. For instance, in the first part of the news we published last week, some of you mentioned in the comments the possibility of it being used to break encryption, among other things. It's quite likely we'll touch on this during the video, but setting apocalyptic theories aside, let's dive into all the gossip surrounding QSTAR and the hypothetical achievement of AGI by OpenAI. OpenAI, QSTAR, and AGI After OpenAI CEO Sam Altman caused a stir in the tech world by saying on Reddit, AGI has been achieved internally, he later clarified that it was just a joke. He mentioned that when they achieved AGI, it won't be announced casually on Reddit. And I'd say, yeah, of course. Before Altman left the company, he talked about a technical advancement that would help us learn more and discover new things. According to the report, QSTAR stirred things up internally by achieving something unprecedented for a large language model, the ability to perform basic math. While basic math may sound ordinary, it's a huge breakthrough for models like QSTAR, especially considering that traditional calculators have been managing such tasks since the 1950s. The fact that a large language model like QSTAR managed this achievement marks a big advancement in its capabilities and showcases the model's potential in areas beyond traditional language processing. The discovery, or leak, called QSTAR raised safety concerns among OpenAI employees. They expressed their worries to the board even before CEO Sam Altman was fired. The employees believed that QSTAR could pose a threat to humanity. According to Reuters, multiple staff members wrote to the former board about their safety concerns related to the QSTAR project, which played a role in Altman's removal. Lawfare adds that even before the letter, some board members seem to have lost confidence in OpenAI's commitment to safety and careful research, since Helen Toner, a key skeptic, favored Anthropic's approach over OpenAI's. And talking about Anthropic, we've made a cool video on their new release, Claude AI version 2.1, and how it stacks up against GPT-4. Don't forget to check it out later. Okay, okay, getting back to us, the growing lack of trust in OpenAI's responsible practices and the realization that artificial general intelligence wasn't as distant as initially thought led to doubts about Altman's leadership. Safety concerns drove the decision, prompting the board to consider Anthropic CEO for the role and explore a potential merger between the two companies. Whether right or wrong, the board felt that Altman wasn't aligning with OpenAI's mission of careful AI research, emphasizing the need for caution and exercising its right to terminate him. Altman himself stressed the importance of the board's authority in firing him, showing that no single person should have unchecked control over AI. However, the board's decision had unintended consequences. If their main goal was to safeguard OpenAI's commitment to cautious research to protect the public from potential harmful AI, it played out differently than expected. After Altman's dismissal, Microsoft initially claimed no knowledge of the situation, but quickly swooped in to hire Altman and former OpenAI president Greg Brockman, who resigned in solidarity with Altman, leading to an unexpected turn of events. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was later reinstated just four days after being initially fired from the company he co-founded. But before then, OpenAI, under Altman's leadership, had become a leading artificial intelligence company with its generative AI tools gaining global recognition. Contrary to initial expectations of Altman joining Microsoft, the board reconsidered and rehired him. This brought a surprising twist. Following two board members who had voted to dismiss Altman, Helen Toner and technology entrepreneur Tasha McCauley resigned. The third member, Quora CEO Adam D'Angelo, who was part of the decision to remove Altman, had stood his ground and remained on the board for the time being. QSTAR's Cryptography Ability 
Okay, so with QSTAR, there's a possibility it could become better than humans at many specific tasks. The UK government AI advisor mentioned that QSTAR development might give AI the ability to construct language with semantic continuity. This means AI could interact more meaningfully with humans. However, this doesn't mean that QSTAR has reached the level of full artificial general intelligence. In another development, there are rumors of leaked documents about QSTAR. Some suggest that AI is secretly programming itself in a way that humans can't see. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are unverified rumors that QSTAR has found a method to break even AES-192 encryption. And concerns are arising that OpenAI is attempting to alert the NSA about this situation. According to Futable, a document about QSTAR got leaked on 4chan, and from what's said in the document, it turns out that QSTAR managed to break encryption. It showed an extraordinary ability to use specific search rules and learn across different areas by figuring out how many times a target state was disrupted. After learning without guidance using a big temporary dataset made up of descriptive and statistical information, it looked at millions of pairs of regular text and coded text from various encryption systems. Using a tactic called Tau Analysis, it aimed to reveal regular text from a specific AES-192 coded text through something called a ciphertext attack. The exact way it did this is not entirely clear at the moment. The MD5 cryptographic hash function has a theoretical computational complexity of 2 to the power of 42 bits. However, due to technical difficulties with its arguments and the more urgent issue of a potential AES vulnerability, a thorough assessment of this vulnerability is still pending. To improve accuracy in making inferences, it suggests focusing on specific unstructured changes to the model. The recommendation includes using a new transformation engine to modify the pruned transform transformer model and its current memory format. While this idea has not been fully tested for effectiveness, we currently advise against putting it into practice. Whether the leaked document is real or fake, the person who wrote it shows an expert understanding of AI research. They used terms from various fields accurately, making it unlikely that someone with such expertise would create a detailed prank to deceive the internet. This sheds light on why OpenAI is facing challenges, and it may clarify why board members didn't openly state why Sam Altman was fired. They probably wanted to avoid spreading this information. If the information in the document is accurate, it suggests that all information systems and financial systems, including cryptocurrencies, might be at risk of being compromised. Hey, just a small pause to say this. We've really put our hearts into digging up all the latest news for you. We hope you find it as thorough and helpful as we aimed for. So if you think we've added a bit of extra value to your day, consider subscribing and turning on those notifications. It's a great way to support us and keep yourself in the loop with all the AI news. And as always, it's free. OpenAI's significance in the field of AI. So, AGI is the ultimate objective in AI research, envisioning an intelligence similar to the human brain which is capable of reasoning, creative thinking, and potential consciousness. OpenAI defines AGI as autonomous systems surpassing humans in economically valuable tasks. With substantial computing resources, the new model demonstrated proficiency in solving specific mathematical problems. This achievement shows OpenAI's strides toward the ambitious goal of AGI. Even though QSTAR is currently only as good at math as a grade school student, researchers are excited because it passes those tests with flying colors. Recently, OpenAI, which used to focus on six core values, has now put all its energy into achieving artificial general intelligence. The goal is to create AGI that's not only smart, but also safe and helpful for humans. This change in strategy shows how serious OpenAI is about making progress in AGI development quickly and highlights the importance of this technology for our future. OpenAI's use of systems like ChatGPT and Microsoft Jarvis shows how serious they are about making artificial general intelligence. ChatGPT is great at understanding and answering tricky questions about pictures using big language models. 
Microsoft Jarvis, even though it hasn't gotten much attention, is like a small version of AGI and could be important in the bigger picture of creating advanced artificial intelligence. These moves by OpenAI show their commitment to trying out different technologies to reach the goal of making super smart AI that can do a lot of things. Implication of AGI Artificial general intelligence with human-like abilities holds the power to revolutionize various industries. It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, it may replace jobs, causing economic instability. On the other, it could speed up scientific research, leading to transformative discoveries. OpenAI is aware of the potential risks and is working on addressing them. This situation has sparked discussions about the speed of AI development and its ethical implications. OpenAI, internally, acknowledged the project and the concerns raised in a letter, but did not comment on the specific details. Despite the challenges, Altman has played a crucial role in propelling OpenAI forward in AI advancements, notably contributing to the creation of ChatGPT, one of the fastest growing software applications in history. The pressures from a scientific or financial standpoint make it challenging for AI companies to commit to moving slowly and avoiding disruptions. In the United States, the current approach to AI involves voluntary commitments, guidelines, and an executive order that initiates more studies and guidance while placing some requirements on federal contractors. The stricter provisions often apply only to models yet to be developed. While progress is being made, the timeline and nature of future binding obligations remain uncertain. Acknowledging this, the document outlining voluntary commitments emphasizes that these are just the initial steps, and more concrete regulations will necessitate new laws, rules, oversight, and enforcement. So let's wrap this up. AI and large language models have undergone notable changes, but what remains consistent is how new, exciting, and transformative these technologies are. They hold the potential to make businesses more efficient in different industries. Currently, OpenAI stands out as a top player in this evolving field. So, what do you think? Drop a Q-star in the comments to let us know that you watched the video to the end. If you found this video valuable, like and subscribe for more AI insights. Thanks for watching, folks. See you in the next video.